St. John Mary International School, Grade 5, and today I will be showing you how to make a basic game in Microsoft PowerPoint. First, click this button, and then either type in PowerPoint, or simply find a P, sign in, in here. So let's type in PowerPoint, then just click on it. The kind of Microsoft PowerPoint version I am using is the 2016 version. As you see, the 2016 version starts with choosing the theme you want to use. But the theme we are using today is just the normal and blank theme, which is right here. Then click on it. The first step is to write your game's name. For me, the name would be The Maze Game. You can customize your own. Your own, but what I just said, we will be making a basic game on it. After you type your game's name, click on the dotted lines of the title box and click delete on your keyboard. Next, you go to insert. Now, I mean, click clip art if you are using another version. If you have, then type start button and choose your button or just download one from the internet. If you download one from the internet, go to insert, then click pictures, then look for your picture. Then, then look for the button that you downloaded from the internet or Google. After you have done that, after you have done that, click on it, then it will appear on the screen. Then drag it onto the corner. If it doesn't have the word start, go to shapes, text box. Type start in it, and then drag it to the button. Next, go to insert, look for actions, then click or tick hyperlink to, and next, click next slide, then OK. After you've done that, go back to home, click on the triangle on the corner of new slide, then choose the black one. Then go back to insert or and then click click clip art or click another start button or go to pictures and find another start button. Once again you just click it and it appears. Drag it to the corner, it's all you have done that, go back to insert, shapes, then rectangle. Make a really long rectangle like this, then connect it to the start button. The thing is that why I connected it to the button is because that if you don't really connect it well to the button is that the game is not going to work properly when a player plays it. So as I do this, I'm done. After that, you can go back to your clip art if you do have clip art. Then you type in the search of clip art and button. Then choose your end button and you're done. If you download it, just go back and do the same thing. After you've done that, go back to insert, actions, hyperlink to, then next slide. After you have done that, go back to home, make two more new slides, then go back to third slide. After you've done that, go back to shapes and insert, click on text box. Put it at the top corner here 
and type winner like this. Or you can do whatever you want since it's your game. But I'm telling you, it's just basic. So this is what we're gonna do. So let's move this in the middle and go back to pictures or clip art. Then they got two more buttons and then you can for the first button, you put it on the right side, then go back to insert, pictures, desktop, or wherever you put your other button if you download it, and put your other button on the other side. After you have done that, go back to insert, shapes, then text box. Put the text box here, and you can type retry. Does it seem to look here? I go back and repeat the same thing, but this time you write finish or type finish. Finish. Go back to the button, insert, action, hyperlink two, and then go back to slide number one, maze game, click OK. Then OK. For finish button, you can go back to insert, actions, hyperlink to last slide. Okay. After you've done that, make another new slide. So in slide 4, you repeat the same thing actually. But this time you write loser or whatever. That, you know, then repeat the same thing, go to your clip bar, type button, no, and I will just repeat the same thing here, as you see, and then you just do the same thing again, it's just you just go to the shapes, text box, and retry, retry, go. So it's just the best. After that go to number five, slide number five, clip art. You can put in search here. Um, thank you. Or you can just simply go to shapes, text box, and put thank you for playing my game. Play my game. Change the color if you want. Go. And let's go back to number two. And go to insert shapes rectangle and then make that cover the whole entire thing. Go to format, change the color of the background. I'm deciding orange for lava. And then click send backward, send to back. It will be like this. After that, go back to insert actions. Hi, um, go to mouse over hyperlink two to the click slide and slide four, which is loser. Then you can also put a sound. Actually, let's do ball. So now we're back to action and then play sound up plus right there. And that's how you make your own basic game. As you see, I think we can 
try play first. We go like this and then start and then we can do this. Thanks.